All righty, welcome to your new coach kickoff training video and most importantly, welcome to Dream Dynasty. We are so excited that you are here and hopefully um, starting some kind of new coach prep school or training or coach basics program sometime in the near future. So this is a video that we put together to kind of just lay out some important things that you really need to know kind of right out of the gate when you're when you're starting to launch your business so some things that we think will be really useful and helpful as you go into your coach basics or your new coach prep school depending on how your upline um, is onboarding you as a new coach uh, the first thing that i kind of just wanted to mention really briefly is that i love our team i love our team culture our community the tribe that we've built I also love the fact that we have a ton of training and resources um, readily available to you in order for you to be successful as a coach in this business. If you are not successful as a coach in this business, I can promise you it is not from a lack of resources um, because that is something that our team has kind of uh, tweaked and perfected, if you will, over the course of the past couple years. So that is kind of just upfront something that I wanted you all to be aware of is the fact that you will always have support, resources, trainings, and tools that you need in order to make this business um, successful. What I want you to do is keep it simple, do these things that you are going to learn in your new coach prep school and in this kickoff training video, and work hard, and that's it. You will be successful. But I think in order to determine what success looks like for you, it's really important that you kind of pick your path. And what I mean by that is there are sort of three, these are really sort of loose terms that we use in order to kind of describe um, coaches in the business. And the reason why we kind of break these up into these three categories is because we feel like it's really important for you to kind of understand where you're at in your business at this point, because that will help dictate what your daily business activities look like, how much you work the business as far as hours is concerned, sort of what those that hour or hours will be spent doing on a daily basis. So this is something that I really want you to kind of think about. Just think about why you decided that this coaching opportunity was something that you wanted to take advantage of. For example, if you're if you consider yourself a discount coach, maybe you you know, have gone through a 21 day challenge group, you've had great results, you love Shakeology and you want the discount. You're not really interested in, you know, sharing it with other people and, um, you know, like sharing your journey on social media. You just really want to save that extra 25% on your Shakeology every month. Then that is why you are a coach and there is nothing wrong with that. Some of the most successful coaches in the business actually start out as what you would consider a discount coach. And then uh, once they, you know, continue to have success, they just can't help but want to share it with other people. So they kind of change, you know, what those business goals look like. A hobby coach, something that I started out as kind of, I always consider myself a hobby coach kind of right out of the gate. Um, I had a full-time job love the products. These products literally changed my life. And people close to me were asking me what in the world I was doing. So I was earning a little bit of extra income. I was paying my car note every month, paying for the groceries every month. Still had a full-time job, full-time student. Um, I was just kind of doing coaching on the side. Um, most hobby coaches are coaches who have gone through an accountability group or a challenge group or have completed one of our programs from start to finish and have seriously just fallen in love with our programs and that was hands down me. I wasn't a part of an official challenge group. I just had a friend who uh, had the DVD set of Hammer and Chisel and she asked me to do it with her. So for 60 days, I stayed 100% on track from start to finish. Um, and whenever I say that Hammer and Chisel changed my life, I'm not exaggerating. So if you've heard my story before, maybe you know a little bit more about that, but I had always struggled with clean eating and exercise and just figuring out how to be healthy and live a balanced lifestyle literally my entire life. Um, and so that program just really did it for me. So I had no option but to want to share it with a couple people. Like I said, I was working full time in school full time, so I was a hobby coach. And then we have our business builders, which is absolutely what I classify myself as um, now I am all in, I'm working on building a life of freedom and I'm growing a team that's doing the same. So maybe you are, you know, tired of working for somebody else, or maybe you want to retire your spouse from their full-time job because they have, you know, dreams and aspirations of starting their own business. Or maybe you want to quit your full-time job to be able to stay home with your kids. This is somebody who, of course, you have passion um, and purpose for 
what a coach does as far as our programs and Shakeology and things are concerned, but you want something bigger. And so one thing that I want to kind of just reiterate a little bit is that it's okay for your goals with this business to shift and change over time. And actually, depending on how much you do or do not know about the business and how much you've learned, how long you've been a new coach, how long you've been signed up for, you may have no idea how to even start to begin to put together um, or wrap your mind around what your goals are with this business. So that is okay. I can promise you the more you learn um, and the more you continue to start to grow your business uh, throughout the course of your new coach training, you will figure out which one of these categories essentially you kind of want to start in. And then the more you learn, uh, the more you will grow and the more likely your goals with this business um, will change. So just be open to that. Just kind of think about why you decided to take advantage of this opportunity in the first place at this point, and then just own what goals kind of come with that. Uh, specific desire and then just be open to allowing them to change because I can tell you that I never would have thought that I would have quit my really incredible full-time job at the University of Oklahoma to do this business full-time. I knew nothing about health and fitness. All I knew about it was that I struggled with it um, and here I am with huge dreams and aspirations of um, allowing my husband to quit his full-time job too. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. I think it's really important for you to kind of just understand what your goals are with the business at this point so that you can figure out what it looks like to grow this business at your own pace. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about was your coach online office. These are a couple things that we need you to do right off the bat. And I'm actually going to log into my spouse accounts online office and just kind of walk you through some of these things to show you exactly what they look like. So the first thing that you need to do is set up your website. I'll show you where to do that. Um, set up your direct deposit. Hopefully your upline has added you to uh, the Dream Dynasty Facebook page or their specific Facebook page where you kind of interact with everybody. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, learn where to find your coach ID and your username and your links. Um, save the Coach 411 website to your favorites. We have a mobile app. The Coach 411 and the mobile app and the BB Links app are actually the ways that you will send links to challenge packs to your customers. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the training tab on your Coach Online Office and then the FAQs, which are your go-tos for everything. So um, whenever you log into your Coach Online Office, this is what it will look like. So on the home page, a couple things that you really need to uh, be aware of, first and foremost on your profile tab is your Coach ID. You need to memorize this number. You need to put it in your, the notes section of your phone. You need to have it down because it's really important. All of your rank information will be right here. Lifetime rank is over here. As you accrue success club points, those will be listed here as well. Um, these tabs over here down the side just kind of show you know, your, your personal information, your upline sponsor. So this is my spouse account. So obviously the upline sponsor on my spouse account is myself. Um, my spouse account's upline diamond coach is myself, and then my uh, spouse account's upline star diamond coach is Scotty Hobbs. This is a success club tab where it just kind of, um, you know, tells you the basics as to what success club you're in now, are you an active coach, things like that, volume, earnings, we won't go into all that. I don't think that that stuff is super important for you to know right now, um, but something else that as you start to get customers, you'll need to be aware of is this My Business Alerts over here on the left-hand side. Um, as you get new orders, new customers, as new coaches sign up on your team, all of those alerts will be right here. And then coach breaking news is down here. So this is like all of the really important news and information um, that corporate wants you to know. So you should be logging into this coach line office every single day, no questions asked, and just kind of double checking to make sure, you know, if you know that two people placed orders yesterday, making sure that those points are showing up, making sure that you have all their information, and then of course checking to see if there's anything new in that coach breaking news. Um, you can also click on the news tab here, coach breaking news, all of the April promotions, and then all the information about the national wake up call, which we'll talk about in a little bit. This grow my business tab is really, really awesome. So there's lots of features in here that just help you literally grow your business. These are resources for your challenge groups, um, product tools, shareable media, some logos, things like that. 
One thing that I specifically wanted to talk about was setting up your website. So you can click on my websites and profile. This is where you will set up all of the information for your website. My spouse account's website is really boring. I don't even have a picture uploaded um, because it's not my primary account, but you can upload it. You need to upload a photo here. You need to upload an about me here. Um, and then you can you know, pick here which buttons you have turned on or off on that website. Here's where you can enter some URLs so that people can connect with you in other ways. And I'm going to cancel that because I don't, I don't want to publish it yet. But be sure that you get your website and profile um, set up. It is one of the most important things that you can do um, at this point in your business. Um, one other thing that we need to do, let's see, where do we do it at? We need to set up your direct deposit. So what you're going to do is click on monitor my business. This is where you can monitor all of your personal orders, customer orders, all of your coaches over here, qualification statuses, and then all of your compensation. You're going to come down here and click on my EFT management. And then you're going to input all of um, your bank account information. We get paid every single Thursday, which is fabulous. Um, but you need to make sure that your checks are direct deposited. So be sure that you come in here. Be sure that you um, get that taken care of right now. Words and recognition. This just kind of tells you a little bit about some of our recognition programs. I don't want to spend a lot of time there. Upcoming events. Don't want to spend a lot of time there. Where I do want to spend a lot of time at is under the trainings tab. So. Depending on your upline, we'll, it will kind of look a little bit different for everybody as far as how you are onboarded as a new coach, what trainings you go through, um, what you're getting started right call with your coach looks like. But one thing that I would suggest doing, regardless of what that process looks like for you, is coming under the trainings tab and clicking on this getting started right tab. Before we go in there, into that section and look at that specifically, one thing I do want to tell you is that there is literally a training in this section of your back office on every single thing you could ever want to know about this business. So be sure that you are utilizing this as a resource. I think it's so easy for not just new coaches, but all coaches to kind of forget that you have this hub of incredible information at your fingertips for training. So what we are going to look at since this is a new coach kickoff training call is the getting started right tab. So this section here is called the first 30. It's essentially three different areas of focus um, that teach you what to do in the first 30 minutes of your business, the first 30 hours of your business, and the first 30 days of your business. So I want you to complete all of these documents. Watch this video. Here's a new coach welcome book. You're going to open up this checklist. And it's going to walk you through just kind of literally a checklist as to a couple things that you need to be sure you get done right off the bat. Now, depending on your upline and how they host their getting started right calls, they will probably go through these first 30s with you. So they'll probably walk through all of these just to make sure that you have, in fact, completed all of the most basic um, steps. So just be sure to keep that in mind that it's really important you get these things done right off the bat. So the first 30 quick start guide, this is something that you for sure need to get done. Plug in that coach ID right here. Um, once you set up your profile on your websites, put that link here. You can customize what that URL looks like. Um, you will need to contact your coach to set up a time to complete the first 30 days coach action plan together. We'll look at that in a second. And then down here on the bottom are some just social media links um, for you to reference. Uh, Facebook, Team Beachbody Coach 411. This is where the National Wake Up Call is hosted live every Monday morning. Lots of good resources there. A Twitter, um, Team Beachbody Coach 411.com, their Instagram page, their YouTube link, lots of really good videos there. And then you need to request to join the Beachbody Champions Group Facebook page. Depending on your coach, I always just go straight to that Facebook page as soon as a new coach signs up and get them added immediately. But go to this page and make sure that you've either been added or add yourself. National Wake Up Call, bookmark this. It is at 8 p.m. Pacific time or 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You can listen to the playback. You don't have to necessarily listen to it live. And there's also a podcast. And then you need these four vital behaviors burned into your brain. Be a product of the product. Press play, drink your Shakeology every single day. Invite every single day to a challenge group, to the, to the coaching opportunity. Recognize and celebrate 
every meaningful achievement and activity that leads to results, whether that's on your team or in your challenge groups, and do personal development. So, so, so important, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. The first 30 days. So this is that coach action plan. Let's see. That's not what I was looking for. Is that? No, let me see. Be sure to go through all of this stuff. Um, I'm just looking for, well, maybe, it, here it is. Sorry, it's under this tab. This is probably what you will walk through your upline coach with during your getting started right call. My why. Guys, when you're thinking about your why, it needs to be deep. It needs to be really deep because here's the thing. There's going to be some days where a lot of people are going to tell you no, that they don't want to be a part of your challenge group. There's going to be days where you don't want to do your workout or focus on your nutrition or drink your Shakeology. There's going to be days that are just flat out hard and you're going to start to question why you decided that you wanted to take advantage of this opportunity. This why that you put on this paper needs to be deep and it needs to be strong. I became a Team Beachbody coach because I'm tired of having a boss I want a life of freedom, financial freedom, time freedom. I want to continue to help motivate and inspire other people while focusing on my own journey because for my entire life, I've been controlled by food and by my weight. And this entire process has taught me that my health and fitness is so much more than the way I look in the mirror. It's the way I feel inside. It's the way that I connect with other people. And it's literally changed my life in a way that has forced me to want to be able to wake up and do this job every single day for the rest of my life. Something like that, something that is deep and meaningful and powerful. So I want you to fill that in. I want you to set a couple goals for how many people you're gonna help in your first 30 days. Um, typically, I always recommend this number being between three and five. <coughs> three at the bare minimum. Like I said, this is something that your coach will probably walk through with you so you guys can kind of talk about that. Think about how many dollars you wanna earn in your first 30 days as a coach. Maybe you signed up to be a coach with a $160 challenge pack and you want that money back by the end of your first month. So then guess what that goal would be? $160. Let's say you just want your Shakeology paid for and then some. I want to make $130. Let's say that you want to buy your family's groceries for the month or let's say that you want to pay your mortgage. Whatever that financial goal is for yourself in your first 30 days, be reasonable and understand that you're still going through training. Um, but know that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Put that number here. Complete your coach basics training. Hopefully you're in the process of doing that. And of course, stick to my fitness program and drink Shakeology every single day, non-negotiable. These are the vital behaviors, those four practices that we just talked about. I want you to post on social media. And guys, we're going to talk about that in just a second. Don't overcomplicate it. Just tell your story, add value, and build connections. I always recommend at least two posts, three um, a day. That's typically what I recommend to my new coaches. The most important thing is that you're, you're adding value and you're sharing your story with those posts. So I would rather you have two just really good quality posts that day instead of like five or six just taking up space. Start new conversations with people at least two or three a day. Invite somebody to your new challenge group at least two or three times a day. Follow up with your contacts, at least two to three people a day. Work out and drink your Shakeology every single day, non-negotiable. Do personal development every single day, non-negotiable. Recognize your new challengers. Um, even if that's just in an Instagram story like, um, oh, Lauren is joining my next challenge group. I'm so excited for her. I can't wait to help her get healthy and love herself again, or you know, something like that. And as you grow and build your team, you'll recognize them as well. Time. This is something that you really need to think about. Um, depending on sort of how we talked about if you're a hobby coach, a discount coach, or a business building coach, the amount of time that you put into growing and building your business is going to look a little different. I do want you though to keep in mind that if you have big dreams with this business, which I hope that you do, um, you're going to have to make some sacrifices, whether that's waking up a little bit earlier or going to bed a little bit later after the kids go to sleep, finding little power pockets of time throughout the day, this is really something that you need to work with your coach on. Um, talk about your schedule. Talk about what your days look like. Talk about what those goals are um, up here as far as how many people you want to help, how much commission you want to make in your first 30 days, and come up with a reasonable 
uh, game plan as far as when you are going to work your business and how you're going to find that time and how many hours a day or a week that is for you. Your commitment is so very important. We've talked about some obstacles that you're probably going to face in this business. People telling you no, people questioning you, um, people doubting what you're doing as a coach, not understanding what you're doing. So you really need to dig deep and figure out how you're going to overcome those things. I know for me, my biggest fear was judgment. I was so worried about what people were going to think about me. They weren't going to understand that I was like, you know, sharing my health and fitness journey and posting sweaty selfies and running these groups that they didn't really understand. And my absolute biggest fear was fear of judgment. And so the only way that I overcame that was literally staying true to remembering how I felt by making this a priority every single day. And honestly, I just got to a point where I didn't care anymore. And so you need to dig deep and figure out how you are going to overcome those obstacles that you are bound to face, especially in your first 30 days of your business. Work with your coach on when you're gonna do your accountability check-in. When are you gonna check in with your coach and say, hey, I hit Success Club 5 and it's only you know April 10th or you know November 10th. Um, I bumped up my goal to success club 10 this month, or, you know, I signed two new coaches this month. When can I put them in a new coach training? You need to be sure that you are checking in with your coach on a regular basis to ensure that they're helping hold you accountable to these goals that you're setting for yourself. These are just a couple housekeeping items. Make sure that you're in a coach basics training group or a coach prep school. Make sure you're plugged into a challenge group. Know which challenge group you're inviting people to, and we'll talk about that in new coach prep school if you're going through that. And make sure that you have connected with your coach for getting started, right call, your team as far as the team page is concerned, and all of the Team Beachbody resources that we talked about. So be sure that you have done all of those really awesome things. Let me hop back over here to my slideshow and make sure I covered everything. Setting up your website, your direct deposit, Facebook team page link, coach ID and your usernames. We're going to talk about the Coach 411 website really quick. and then the Beachbody FAQ. So if you click on this support tab right here, you will see that there's an FAQ. Guys, this is literally where you can find any question you could ever possibly have about coaching. Um, how to change your Shakeology, how to manage your Beachbody on demand membership. I mean, any question about any event, any program, all of it can literally be typed in right here and you can find it in the FAQ. So be sure you have your FAQ bookmarked and know exactly what it is. Okay, let me, I put the link, I'm pretty sure I put the link to, yes, let's see. <clears throat> well, that didn't work, did it? We'll talk about the Coach 411 in just a second. So we'll skip over that. Get familiar with your coach online office, check in there every single day, go through these trainings, do the first 30, and utilize that checklist. The next thing that I wanna talk about really briefly, we're not gonna to go too much in depth with social media, but I think it's really important that you're, you know, you're in your, this new coach kickoff training, you're gonna be starting your new coach prep school soon. It's important that you learn how to launch your business, and with that is gonna come a couple questions about social media that I wanted to address. So, um, Questions that I hear really often in the beginning is, should I create a business page? Should I use Instagram? Do I need a blog? What about YouTube? I don't even know how to take a selfie. How am I supposed to post on social media? Here's the answer to all of those things. I would not stress about creating a business page or starting a blog or utilizing a YouTube channel just yet. I want you to just utilize your personal Facebook page because guess what? Even if you only have 200 friends, those 200 people know, like, and trust you already. Why focus so heavily on, you know, creating all this extra hassle to create a business page and find followers and, you know, build a cold market right off the bat when you have a couple, at least a couple people who are already friends with you on your Facebook page or are following you on your Instagram that you can already be connecting with. They've been following you. They've been seeing your posts. They know you as a person. Just start there. You can worry about all the rest later. So just don't get wrapped up in all the really crazy logistics of social media and you know being really fancy or formal with the work that you're doing. Um, 
I will say I definitely recommend and suggest using Facebook and Instagram, multiple platforms. You'll have different audiences on both. The things that I wanted to talk about specifically about your social media um, is that you need to make sure that they are public. I know that this is a little uncomfortable for some people, but here's the thing. If you are you know, inspiring and motivating and you're sharing your journey and Susan down the road tells Sally up the street that you need to follow Beth on Facebook. Like she's so great. She has great recipes. I love you know, keeping up with her journey. And then Sally hops on Facebook and types in Beth Isbell and my page is private. Guess what? I just lost a potential customer. So set your page to, to public, go into your settings and set it to public. If you share pictures of your children or if there's things that you don't want everybody to see, just be sure that you create an album and you set it to private or only share you know, with friends instead of followers. So there are ways kind of around that. I will say I never have, I've had a public profile for a couple of years and I've never had any issue with um, you know, people being inappropriate or anything like that. So make sure that your pages are public so that you are expanding your market in the best way and most um, efficient way possible. The next two things that I wanted to talk about really briefly is your profile picture. Your profile picture needs to be of you. Absolutely, it can be like you and your spouse or you and your kids, but it needs to be a clear depiction of you, not a butterfly, not your dog, you. Um, because you're starting to run a business utilizing social media and people need to know who you are. So make sure it does not have to be a professional photo. It can be a selfie with you and your husband or you and your kids. Um, as long as you know there's good lighting, people can see you and you are one of the main focuses in that profile picture. Another thing I wanted to talk about really briefly, but something I don't want you to get hung up too much on is your banner picture. So I put a little screenshot here of what my page looks like right now. I want you to think about a couple pieces of your life that really kind of explain who you are. So for me, that is, you can't see this picture right here, but I'm holding a big basket of vegetables. So it's, you know, clean eating, it's fitness, it's pageantry, it's my husband and my dog. Um, I'm a PhD student. I'm a leader and entrepreneur. I just kind of listed some of those words up here. And then I put a little click here button so that people would click on my banner and they can read a little bit about my story in the caption of my banner. So it does not have to be fancy. It can literally be a side-by-side -side transformation picture that you have or um, just something simple where people, the purpose of the banner is for people to kind of just get a screenshot and a snapshot of who you are and kind of what makes you you because you are branding yourself. That is what this is all about. That is why we don't sell, we share. You are sharing your life and parts of your life with other people. We have some training on our website. Just go under tools and training under the dreamdynasty.com. Click on coach, the coach tab and then go to exclusive DD coach training. Under tools and training, I use PicMonkey. Um, which is a website that you can access for free to create these graphics. I have some training videos on there that kind of show how to create different graphics utilizing that feature. You can use canva.com. There's lots of uh, really useful websites that are free that you can use to create banners. You can specifically label them. You know, you can click on like a template for a Facebook uh, cover photo and you can just upload some pictures and pop it on your page and you're good to go. Don't stress about it. Ask your upline coach if you need help. Um, but your profile really needs to be a screenshot and a snapshot of who you are. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so now that you have signed up to be a coach, it's time to launch your business. So what I mean by launching your business is you making a public post and essentially announcement that you are now doing this thing that you need everybody to know about. So I just took a little snapshot. I dug way deep in my profile to find my sort of announcement post as a coach. Um, and the picture that I actually use, this is the text that I put in the post, and this was two and a half years ago, so maybe I would have said things a little bit differently, but um, I think it's a real testimony to kind of my story and why I became a coach, which is what you need to be sharing in this post. Um, the picture that I actually attached to this text was this one over here on the right, so nothing crazy, just a selfie of myself, and I put some text on it. Um, if I was sharing it today, it would probably have been a transformation picture like this one, but all that matters is that the picture you choose to share with the text of this post is one that is just symbolic of your why, and then the text needs to reiterate that why. So I want you to dig deep, I want you to really think about why you said yes to being a coach, and that's what I want you to share. And then I want you to have a call to action item. So I'm gonna read this to you really quick and kind of explain a couple things. 
Friends, stop scrolling, please. Transparent moment for Beth Isbell. I'm confident and aware of the fact that most of my Facebook friends and family probably think that staying healthy and active and in shape is something that comes natural and easy to me. I hate to break it to you, but it does not, not even a little. I love pizza and ice cream more than most things in life and finding a balance between those things and healthy options and working out is something that I have always struggled with. I found myself having to go all in on a restricted regimen to get the results that I was after or not being able to focus on my health and fitness at all. However, over the past couple of years, I've really been focusing on my own health and fitness journey and I finally feel like I'm at a place where I can start helping others that I care about and even those that I don't know to find their happy in life. We all know that how we feel about ourselves, regardless of what that means for you, is a direct reflection of our efforts in life. So in order to get you in tip top shape for July 4th weekend, I'm gonna be starting an online accountability group as a Beachbody coach to help keep others motivated to stay on the healthy train. No matter where you're at in your fitness journey, I wanna help. It'll be a 21 day challenge, easy to follow meal plan, at home workouts, accountability, motivation, and a month's worth of the best meal replacement, sh re replacement shake there is, Shakeology. <coughs> Excuse me. Comment below or shoot me a private message so we can chat about the details. The group starts next Friday and I only have five spots. So you don't have long to jump in. So a couple things I want you to notice. I shared my heart, right? I feel like it's so easy for people from the outside to look at me and think that it's easy for me to be healthy. And it's not. And it's actually the one part of my life that I've never been able to get control over. So I shared my heart in that first little section. I gave them a call to action. I told them, now I'm gonna be helping other people. Here's when my group starts. Here's what you're gonna get. Comment below or send me a message, but you better hurry because I only have five spots. So it's an urgent call to action. I'm telling them they need to let me know now. Um, so really think about that, reflect on it. Um, but within the next 24 to 48 hours, I want you to launch your business and make that commitment. Type something up, pick a picture, send it to your coach, let them look it over. Let them help you dig deep and find the confidence to actually make the post. I will say that I rewrote this post about 18 times and then it took a lot of courage for me to actually be able to post it. So um, it is a really big part of kickstarting your business and you need to make sure that you get it done soon. You will find that you will get a lot of traction when you make this post. People are gonna be like, oh, what is it that you're doing? I want more information, yada, yada, yada. There's a couple things that I need you to do whenever that starts to happen. So you make this post, people are interested, they're commenting, they're sending you messages, maybe they're texting you. Here's what you need to do next. First of all, don't get excited. Don't get overly excited. There will be a lot of people who are going to um, act like they're interested, but then never commit. Think about whenever your coach asked you to be in their accountability group. Maybe you had some objections or fears or commitment issues. Um, maybe they had to ask you multiple times and follow up with you. Um, <clears throat> just put yourself in their position. They're going to have a lot of questions and they may not commit. So remove your emotional attachment to the sale. Don't get your feelings hurt if they end up not committing. Just remember that your number one priority is to ask them questions. Um, it's so important that you ask them questions because you're building a relationship with them. You need to understand how you can best help them and you need them to know that they can and will benefit from your challenge group. So I do not want you to verb verbally vomit on people. I want you to develop a relationship. Don't just spew all the facts about the challenge group because they ask. Get to know what it is. what it is that they could most benefit from in terms of being a part. What it is that they could most benefit from, from being a part of your challenge group. So maybe they're like, hey, I'm interested in this new group. Like, what is it? Can you tell me a little bit about it? It's not, you know, like I've really fallen off the wagon. I need to get healthy. What is it about the group that like you're excited about? Is it, you know, do you struggle with nutrition or is it working out? Or, you know, like what is kind of where are you at in your health and fitness journey? Maybe they say, I try to eat clean, but I just, I need somebody to hold me accountable. I don't know what to eat, to know how to stay on track. And going to the gym just isn't a priority. So like, I'm, I'm just so busy. I, you know, I try to get the extra 30 minutes of sleep in the morning and the kids are up late and I work through lunch and I just don't have a lot of time. 
then guess what you get to say back? This is perfect for you because we can start you off with a program where the workouts are only 30 minutes. You can do them from home. You don't have to worry about commuting or traveling to a gym. The meal plan is super easy to follow. We literally give you a grocery list that tells you exactly what to eat. Do you think that this sounds like something that could you could benefit from? You're gonna be held accountable because there's gonna be other women in the group who are going through the journey you know, with you at the same time. You'll have me as your coach. It literally answers and solves all of your problems. See what happened there? See how, I'm not really sure how that slide changed, but see how by asking questions, you're really able to show them why this is literally a solution for everybody. And so that's something that's really important. You don't wanna just word vomit on them and tell them you know, everything that's involved and tell them the price and you know everything else because you're just gonna overwhelm them and they're gonna to wanna to take a step back. So ask questions, build a relationship. Make recommendations, explain what the challenge group is. That's kind of what I just walked you through a little bit. Um, depending on, you know, if time is an issue or staying on track and accountability is an issue or not knowing how to work out or what to eat, be sure that you address all of their concerns and all of the reasons why they're interested in your group in the first place. How to handle objections. Guys, you're gonna get objections. People are gonna tell you it's too expensive, they don't have enough time, um, whatever the case may be. Just think about, Think about how you can still give them a solution with that objection. So if it's a if it's a money objection, you know, I don't have $160, totally understand. Like I will be here for you when you're ready. Um, just think about it, you know, divide it up between 12 months and it's cheaper than a gym membership. And just really put it into perspective for them based on what their objection is. Enroll, you can use the Team Beachbody 411 website, the mobile app, or the ShareCart app. Um, you will go through training on how to use all of those. I will walk you through really quick um, the coach generator link. So if you go to um, tbb411.com forward slash coach underscore link underscore generator underscore us forward slash What's really cool about this website is this. You can put your coach ID in right here at the top and hit submit. And it literally gives you links for every single challenge pack, every single um, product, performance line, Shakeology, beach bars, anything and everything that we have. It gives you a link for it with your coach ID attached. So that person automatically becomes your customer. So for example, Let's say that somebody just wants the all access challenge pack with a month of Shakeology. We can click on challenge packs. We can look for annual beach body on demand and Shakeology challenge pack. All we got to do is copy this link and send it to them. And guess what? They can, they can purchase it. There's a couple other ways that you can get people set up as well. You can use the sharecart.com feature. Um, you'll log in with your email address and password and then you can literally create the cart to send to a customer um, there's lots of youtube trainings and videos on that as well and then you can also download an app on your phone called the bb links app you put your coach id into that app and it generates the links for you just like that tb411 um, website that i just showed you so that is how you will enroll um, you'll go through some training on that but if you're getting people that you need to get enrolled really quickly before you get to that training or before you've learned that please just reach out to your coach and they will definitely help you i never tell somebody the price until the end because you will skip you could potentially scare them away they could become disinterested and it's important for them to know exactly what they're getting up front before they know the price so i always wait till the end and then once a purchase has gone through, add them to your challenge group. That's a whole nother conversation, but that's just kind of the process from, you know, the moment that you launch your business, to having somebody interested, kind of some things that I want you to keep in mind. Using social media to attract people. So I want you to really think about five to 10 things that define you. I always like to ask myself, how can I add value? How can I share my journey and share my life with other people? I took a couple screenshots of some examples for you. This is a coach on our team, Mallory. Um, she did a little video of her workout and she put the statistics of her progress with doing a specific program on that video. And then in the text up here, she really kind of explained how she feels healthier and stronger and she's you know better rested and she's happier and she's more motivated and she's really sharing her fitness journey. 
there is one non-negotiable that you should be sharing on your social media every day and it's your workout. And I'm not saying like just post a workout selfie with like, I mean, on some days you can, like day, you know, 20 done. But I always just think about, you know, in the middle of my workout, when I don't want to push any further or any longer, is there something that the trainer says or is there something that I'm thinking or something that I'm having to tell myself to really get myself through? If so, that's what I share with my workout selfie. Share some kind of motivation. Um, some kind of inspiration. People are going to be following you and wanting to know how it is that you're doing what you're doing when it's not always easy. So it's really important to be transparent and share that motivation in those posts. Um, this middle picture right here is a picture that I made of some healthy tortilla chips. So I'm, you know, I'm providing value with a recipe. And then over here is a post that I made um, where I'm sharing my favorite um, lashes that I wear. Um, a lot of people ask me about my lashes, so I'm adding value um, to their lives by sharing that. One thing that I think, um, kind of the reason why I wanted to share this using social media to attract people so early on in the game for you is because you are going to get those people when we're you know, up here and we're launching your business and people are messaging you um, and they're interested but they won't commit. Maybe they just don't trust you yet. So when you, instead of getting discouraged and beating yourself up and figuring out how you can make them commit, these are the things that you need to just start and continue to share. Add value, share your journey, share motivation, share your life on social media. And I can promise you that those no's or not right now's will turn into yeses the more that trust and that relationship is built. I think this is also a good representation of how you share your journey. You're not just selling somebody something. Um, and the fear of selling is a really big fear that a lot of new coaches have. So I think this is just a really good way for you to kind of shift your thinking around selling a challenge pack and hitting success club um, to really just sharing your experiences. Okay, daily focus and goals, month one goal, non-negotiable, hit success club five and advance your rate to Emerald. All Emerald means, and you'll learn this in your new coach training, is that you've signed up two coaches to be on your team. But what I want you to primarily focus on is hitting success club in your first month. Here's some basic activities that you're gonna do every single day. You're gonna add people to your network, you're gonna invite, you're gonna follow up with them, you're gonna post on social media and share, not sell, and you're gonna work out and focus on your nutrition and drink your Shakeology. You're gonna go through specifics about all of those key components in your new coach training, but that is how simple it is to hit Success Club in your first month. Your business activity tracker that you'll have access to is going to be how you're going to track these business activities on a daily basis. Um, you'll see that it's, you know, it's broken up by the every day of the week and every single daily activity that you should be doing. Um, and you have to track because if you don't track, you're going to lose sight of people who maybe you need to follow up with because now is, is their time. So be sure you print out your business activity tracker um, and you use that to track all of your invites and follow-ups. Another thing that you're gonna do right off the bat is get the compound effect. You're gonna read it, um, you're gonna listen to it. Every single day, it's so important that you're focusing on your journey from the inside out, and that is another just really important piece of the puzzle. If you've already read the compound effect, then you know, go to our website, look at all the other personal development um, recommendations that we have on there. There's some free links to some audiobooks as well. Just figure out where it is that you need to focus on the most in terms of your own personal journey and just utilize personal development for that. The compound effect is definitely the perfect place to start. Here's a little daily to-do list for all coaches, your workout, your shape, personal development, social media, invites, all of that fun stuff. Um, everything that we just kind of talked about. And then here is some just important info. Our Dream Dynasty team calls every Monday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. National Wake Up Call is every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then our new coach apprentice uh, call will be every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And check the coach breaking news for all additional updates. So call to action, get in a challenge group. Guys, you cannot help other people if you're not helping yourself. So talk with your coach, get plugged into their challenge group. Um, help them co-lead a challenge group, help, you know, figure out when their next group starts so that you can help co-lead it and have something to invite to. Set up the Getting Started Right call with your upline sponsor. Complete that business quick start guide in the first 30. Set a date for your first challenge group, whether you're co-leading it or doing it on your own. Make that post and launch your business. And then finally, hit Success Club. 
I'm hopeful that some of the things that we talked about in this specific kickoff training will kind of go hand in hand with our um, new coach manual and set you up for the start of new coach prep school, where we'll go into a lot, um, you know, in a lot more depth, some of these specifics of how to invite and posting and following up and logistics of the business. But the most important thing for you to focus on at this point is literally this daily to-do list right here. Use your business activity tracker, use your memory jogger, um, do personal development, drink your shake, press play every day. And once you launch your business on social media and you continue to share and build trust through your posts, people are gonna have no option but to join you. Just keep it simple and just you just have to start somewhere. So with that, I will um, hopefully see you all in new coach prep school and I will talk to you all soon.